Hi everybody, welcome to Deb's Way, and I am Deb. You're in my sewing room today, and yes, I am tackling the November um, Pioneer Sampler quilt block. It is this square, this block, called Missouri Star. Okay, I hope you can see that pretty good. And I have my material all cut. And I'm ready to start on this little bugger. But it doesn't look as hard as the October block was. <laughs> so hopefully, after that challenge last month, this one's going to be a bit easier. I hope so. But you know what, then, after I'm done with this one, I have just one more left, and it's December, the Kentucky chain. One more left to do after this one. But then I need to decide how I'm going to arrange the squares you know, each quilt block, how I'm going to sew them together, how I'm going to sew them onto the backing, or if I'm just going to sew the blocks together and, and then get the backing and all this kind of stuff. So this, I'll have all the quilt blocks sewn by the end of December, but the quilt won't be together until um, towards, you know, after the first of the year for sure. So it's been a work in progress, that's for sure, for a whole year. But it has been interesting, and it's been challenging, and it's been fun. And I hope you've all enjoyed coming along with me, um, you know, each month when I do the block. I've had a lot of very nice, pleasant <laughs> comments and very favorable comments. I, I appreciate that. I'll be doing some more sewing too. I, I'm in a sewing mood so I'm going to keep going, okay? But for right now, let me show you what I've got going here material-wise for the Missouri Star for this month, okay? So let's check out the material I've got cut. Alright, this is, this is the material that I'm going to be using this time. And what I have is the four and a half by nine inch dark rectangle and also the same size rectangle out of my medium material then I have out of my was a seven and a quarter inch square and then four three and a half inch squares okay that's my light material now I already showed you this was my first medium and then my second medium here is a four and three quarter inch square Okay, then I have two um, four inch squares out of my dark material. These are the two four inch squares. So I'm putting my rectangles together, right sides together, and I'm going to be dividing them into half, uh, four and a half inches on each uh, square, and then dividing again each square into the triangle shapes, just like I've started before. Um, with other blocks. That's what I'm doing again, making some triangle shapes out of this. I'll bring it back and show you what I did. I've got my rectangle all set to sew. I divided it into two squares, four and a half inches a piece, and on each square I drew a line to divide it into two separate triangles. And then I'm going to sew along this diagonal line here on each side a quarter of an inch away from that line on both sides here. Okay? Hmm, got some loose threads there. Alright, let me get to sewing this. This is the first step. Hmm, I need to thread my machine. I'll be right back. got the stitches along the line that I drew on both sides. So let me see what the next step is. I think I cut these apart and then I'm gonna press them. That seems to be the way that it goes, but let me just double check. Yep, cut along that drawn line. Okay, so let me do that and I'll bring it back and show you what I get. But I'm gonna, oh shoot, I'll just cut now, what the heck. I'm cutting along the line that I drew there. Okay. 
and I'll cut down on this middle line. And down this line now. Okay, so what I'm going to end up with is a square like this, four of them. Let me take it over to the ironing board and get them pressed, and I'll bring it back for the next step. I've got my instruction manual out here, have my new squares all pressed, towards the, and the seam is pressed towards the dark side of the fabric on each of them. Now what the directions say to do is I'm going to square these little squares into a 3 and 7 eighths inch size. There's a little notation on, on in the book saying keep in mind that it's easier to square it to 4 inches first and then go to 3 and 7 eighths. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Then after I have these little squares squared I'm going to cut them in half. <laughs> okay, across the seam. So I'm going to go this way and cut each of these squares into half. I'll bring it back when I have that all done. So basically I figured out after this first cutting what all you're doing to square it up to four inches to begin with is taking these little tags off which is from your seam. And this one needs pressing a little bit more. Hmm, got kind of wrinkled. But that's all I'm doing is taking these little tags off first and then trimming down to three and seven eighths inches. I've got these all trimmed up to, whoops, that one didn't quite go all the way through, but they're all trimmed up to three and seven eighths inch. So now I'm going to cut them in half again, going across the stitch line. I'm going to do them one at a time. So let me get that going here. And actually, I'm trying to be pretty exact here. Well, that would do it. Okay. One block down. Okay, so these are all my little triangles cut. Next, I'm taking the seven and a quarter inch um, square light, and I'm going to be drawing lines, my cutting lines. They want me to cut it on the diagonal in both directions. Okay, so let me do that. Actually, Okay. Okay. And on the diagonal again. But now this I have to make sure I have half. Okay. Okay. 
And there's my cutting line. Okay, so that one's done. And the same with this. Okay. Ooh, it's hanging on by a thread, so <laughs> I've got to use my scissors. That's a sign that I need to change my rotary blade. And I will be doing that very soon. Okay, so, also, these things can be rather dangerous. My nephew, when he was much younger, my youngest nephew, <laughs> he... I came into the sewing room, you know, and he was curious as to what I was doing. And I told him that about the rotary blade, and I said, you've got to be get very careful. This is very sharp. So what does he do? I mean, it was closed. He opened it up, and he ran his finger along the edge. Now, do you think he cut himself? Yeah, he did. Thankfully, not deep enough, you know, that it would need stitches at all. But, I mean, it's like... I did, had just told him, be very careful. The blade is very sharp. So when you're not using it, close the blade into its cover. Okay. Anyway, next step. I'll be laying these out like that and putting these, let's see here, how does this go? Like that, around it. Mm, yep. So let me, I'm going to get these laid out here first, make sure, yeah, oh yeah, um, I'm missing a piece, where'd the little piece go, little piecey? Well, for heaven's sakes. Does this ever happen to you when you're so ah, and you lose a piece but find it on the floor? Yeah. So anyway. Okay. So they're going to go that way. Let me get these all sewn together and I'll bring it back. have this step completed. It's all pressed but not trimmed up. Okay, I'm going to move those aside and move on to the next step. Okay, next step actually is to trim it to a three and a half by six and a half uh, size rectangle. Center it at three and a quarter. Okay. All right but leave this quarter inch space here at the tip. Leave that quarter inch for your seam. Okay, all right, so I'll trim those up. But what's the next step after that? Let's see here. Lay out the center square. Okay, I'm gonna move ahead to that actually before I trim up. Set that aside. Lay out your center square with the dark triangles. Oh, are these supposed to be cut into triangle shapes? I think they are. So I need to do that. But that's still, will that give me? Yep. Okay. So let me cut these into triangles and I'll bring it back. We're working on the center piece now. That's what the center piece is going to be. These are the dark squares that I cut into triangles and I'm going to be sewing those to the center square. So let me do that, and then I'll bring you back. If you have a machine that has this feature of the scissors, be sure to use it. I keep forgetting to press that little button when I'm done stitching. 
It is wonderful. It's a great feature. <laughs> okay, got those sides done. Now for the rest. So I've got my center square here. No, I haven't trimmed it all up at all. But here's the center square. I wanted to show you what it's going to be when I sew it together. And actually, it will be this way and this way. And there we go, that way and that way. And then in each corner is going to be my light. That's what it's going to turn out to look like. Okay? But just so you know, how I'm going to be doing this is taking the middle piece and swinging it over to the left and sewing these two pieces right sides together. So these will be done, and then I'll do the center to that and the bottom to that piece. And then I'll press these, you know, press all the seams, and then come back and do it this way, okay? And then when that's all done, I'll press the seams again and come back and do the final two seams. But I'll bring it back when I have it all together and show you what it, how it turns out. Be assured of that. Well, I'm oh here. <laughs> I have finished the November block. And I'm, I'm pleased with how it turned out. What do you think? You know, considering the fact I'm, well, actually I'm making this from other scrap material from the previous months. Uh, for about the first four or five months I was buying material every month for that particular block and then I just decided I had so much left over from those months I'm just kind of incorporating it into the rest of the year and this is a repeat of material use from <laughs> earlier in the year okay I'm just using my scraps up that's all but it's not a bad job so the next time you see this block it will be back on the wall. Oh, here, you can't see that. Back on the wall here, with my ironing board all the way, with the other blocks. One more to go. Now there's, if there were people taking bets that I was gonna finish this project, I should have bet too, because I would have won, <laughs> but then that yeah, would have been rigged. But I did stick with this. I have finished the project or I will be. Um, the project basically was to do the quilt blocks one a year for a whole year and I will have done that after next month. Now as I said earlier after I have all the quilt blocks done I still need to figure out how I'm going to put them together to make a um, to make a quilt top and sew them together and then decide how I'm going to sew them onto the backing material if I want to applique it on or just sew it on or what and actually buy the backing material too. I've got the um, batting, no problem there, but I still have a, a bit to do before I finish 
this Pioneer Sampler quilt. Okay, but it's coming along. So anyway, that's it for this month's Pioneer Sampler quilt block. Thank you for coming along with me. I hope you've had a good one. I hope you enjoyed the day. You take care, and we'll be talking again real soon. But for right now, this time around, it's going to be bye.